Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna to be doing what do you need to know right now? So we have tarot decks here. So we have one, two, and three. We have group number one with the Rider Waite tarot deck, the original one with the Amethyst Cluster. Group number two with the Light Seas tarot with the Rose Quartz Raw Rough <laughs> piece. And then we have the Ethereal Visions tarot with the Apophyllite. So please choose your group now and let's get started with your reading. So starting off with group, number one hello my lovely group number one let's get started with your reading let's see what you need to know right now so we have the beautiful amethyst cluster i love her she is so so stunning absolutely beautiful energy so the first thing i'm getting for you guys is tuning into your psychic abilities with amethyst i always get like a lovely energy of just a psychic energy very spiritual very high vibrational kind of crown chakra and third eye chakra so because this crystal you've chosen, I feel like it's time for you to assert yourself in a more spiritual sense. So this could be being more in your power. This could be more uh, with your spiritual practice. And you don't even have to have a spiritual practice to be, you know, spiritual. Spiritual is just a way of being, you know. So in a sense, it, it's whatever relates mainly to you. It could be meditating more. It could be going out in nature more. It could be maybe even going vegan, you know, not that that's a spiritual thing, but if that's something you're being drawn to, it could be looking after your diet. Something like that is really tuning into what is coming up on the surface for you that you really need to pay attention to. It's something like that, okay? Because I'm really focusing on this amethyst, like the top of it and how it's just kind of on the surface, like this gorgeous color. Like how did nature make that? Like, isn't that just beautiful? So stunning. Okay, so let's put her, let's put her there. All right, so let's get some tarot. Let's see what's going on for you guys. We're gonna use the original Rider Waite tarot deck that you guys chose. So let's see what you guys need to know right now. <clears throat> what's going on for group number one? Okay, this is in the upright position. We have the Wheel of Fortune. This could also be upright as well. I'm gonna put her in the reverse for now. That sounds dodgy when I say that. <laughs> Love that kind of humor. I think some of you guys are Scorpios. Hi, hi fellow Scorpios. Some of you guys might be Capricorns as well. Okay, let's see what else we got. I feel like I need to say for you guys to slow down, like slow down. Some of you guys are really, whoo, you guys are going, 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 going until you can't go enough. So I feel like you need to guys, you guys need to slow down a little bit. Okay. Okay, so what's really interesting is we have the nine of wands, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, sorry guys, my, my brain does that sometimes. When I'm, in, when, when I'm getting intuitively drawn to something, I don't see numbers. So with the nine of wands, with the eight of pentacles, seven of pentacles, oh my God, this is, it's, not, it's night at time. Okay guys, forgive me. Right, <laughs> we had the seven of pentacles with the nine of wands. This is showing me very similar positions. So you can see like both of these guys have like a wand that they're kind of leaning on. This guy's kind of scared of letting him, letting it go and he's kind of using it as a support. So I'm feeling like right now is you're kind of choosing whether you want to hold on to something out of fear or you want to just let it be. And with things like this, with fear, is it can cause us to feel like we need our sense of safety. And having a sense of safety is so, so, so important, okay? And it can come from the fear of other things happening in the past, like people are people abandoning us or lack of money or lack of drive, all those things. So this is debatable on every single person. This is gonna to relate to you in many different ways. So we have the Two of Swords with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. A lot of you guys feel very tied up, feel very much like you can't move, um, feeling like your world is kind of flipped upside down, feeling like you can't really kind of get a grip on what's going on around in your life or possibly in other people's lives or in the world. What it's telling you is to stand within your truth and focus on you, especially if you're an empath, you're gonna suck up all the, all the kind of, not so much negative energies, but the energies that aren't so much in a positive light at the moment, because if you're an empath, you care so much about other people, you want the best for everyone. And sometimes we can't always have that. Um, sometimes we have to look out for ourselves and really focus on what our dreams are and what our focus is. I feel like to say that you guys need to stay focused on yourself 
but also to draw back your energy. So if you're kind of allowing other people to take from your energy, really important to just allow yourself to have that time and space by yourself. It doesn't mean you have to let them go or completely like cut them off or anything like that. Sometimes it just means that you need to take five minutes a day to just relax and have a day off away from work or away from doing things you have to do because we are human beings, you know, we do have practical things to do, but we also should be doing things we enjoy and not to forget that there are things that we can enjoy. And just because there's a lot of things that are closed and things, it doesn't mean that we can't fully enjoy our energy, you know, we can feel free within our mind also. So I feel like I'm, I'm hearing if you feel free in your mind, your mind is like the one place that you are in all the time. So make it a nice place to be, you know? So I'm gonna suggest for you guys is to listen to some meditations and listen to some meditations by people you really trust and you really genuinely love. Um, people who you find relaxing. So maybe on Headspace or something like that. I'm also seeing you guys journaling as something that could really help you move through these emotions. It is a really confusing time right now and I think I just saw a spirit that was strange. <laughs> Sometimes that happens. It happens very randomly for me, so it kind of catches me off guard. I just see that there's there is like this really uncomfortable energy about here, and then it begins to feel a bit better here. So there's something that switches your energy here. So let's get a little bit of clarification on that and see what's what's the switch. What's making group number one feel a bit more comfortable? I'm just hearing letting go. Okay, so having some sort of possible distraction, but also some sort of drive. Yes, they're saying, yes, you need to assert yourself with something. Um, <clears throat> focus on something that takes away your attention away from the negative. And realize that you are in your power and that you have choice, okay? There's definitely a spirit that steps in this room because my legs have suddenly gone really cold. So there's definitely a spirit, but they're a nice spirit. They feel almost like a granddad energy. So if any of you guys have a granddad in spirit, this feels like that. Okay, lots of fire. I feel like you're gonna get a lot of support from a uh, fire sign or you're gonna just start to see things more clearly. I just see you're kind of stepping back from a situation and you're like, you know what? The more energy I put into this, the more it's gonna blow up. So I'm just gonna take my energy away. Um, and then we have the lovers. Is this in the reverse? They're saying, no, it's in the upright. Oh, nice, okay. So this is a relationship coming towards you, which is coming out of confusion. So when you come out of confusion, there's definitely a nice relationship on the way to you. This does feel like love. It also feels like more for feeling more connected to family. So if you're having a little bit of uncomfortable energy of your family right now, I do see you're going to have a much stronger connection with them and there's no more fighting. Okay, there's no more arguing, things like that. I do feel as if for some of you guys, if you have... Um, kind of different beliefs in your family, especially at the moment with all this stuff going on around the world. Um, just to let you know that if there's somebody you're really not agreeing with, try not to force your opinion onto them because at the end of the day, if they're feeling scared, the last thing they're gonna want is somebody telling them, not so much how to think, but sometimes when somebody has an opposing opinion, it can be really hard to kind of hold that and hold space for them. But at the end of the day, we can only do so much and everyone's opinion is different. You know, we're not all the same. Otherwise, our planet would be so damn boring. Um, but it's also allowing other people to have their opinions and for you to have your opinions as well. Um, and for you to have your own kind of, just allow yourself to have your own space and allow yourself to have your own thoughts. And if people don't agree with you, that's okay. Doesn't They don't have to agree with you for, for you to feel like you are listened to. Um, as long as you know what your truth is, then that's as important as anything else, okay? So with this Ace of Wands, let's get a bit of clarification on this change that's happening for you guys. Let's see what's going on. So we have Mercury, we have Pisces, and we have the second house, which is lovely. So I feel like for you guys, with this Pisces Mercury, this is all about you speaking about spirituality and what you're really passionate about. So if you're not really someone who kind of meditates every day or, you know, really kind of loves to speak about spirituality or more just kind of it's just like your lifestyle, I feel like you're going to be more kind of interested in more spiritual topics. Um, I feel like this is going to help you change. It may be even you start a new career within spirituality or holistic. Um, it could be that you kind of um, allow yourself to do something you're very, very passionate about, okay? Um, so with the mercurial energy, this is all about you kind of speaking about what really suits you and about what you're really passionate about. And the, the second house is about money, it's about daily routines, your income, things like that. So because it's in Pisces, most likely you're going to be doing a career that is to do with spirituality or you're wanting to explore more. I'm hearing like archetypes 
and archangels, um, past lives, karma, uh, law of attraction, all those sort of things. Just doing something new, um, looking into something new. It could be like you're reading something as well that just, you know, really is on your wavelength, okay? Sorry if the lighting's a bit weird, guys. I'm having trouble kind of um, getting it to the right brightness. I'm sorry if you guys are being blinded right now. Okay, so let's get a couple of oracle cards. We're just going to see where your energy's at and what you need to know right now. So let's get rid of these. Okay, so I'm going to pull some, uh, I'm going to pull a crystal card for you and we're also going to pull a oracle card. So let's see what crystal card group number one needs. Oops. Okay, beautiful. Oh, red jasper, that is a heavy one. Red jasper is like really potent, very sexual energy, very masculine. Okay, do we need another one? They're saying, yeah, let's get another one. All right, let's get one more. I'm just going where they're guiding me. Oh, see, that's totally different. Totally different energies. Blue, blue lace agates, like, okay, this is literally like night and day, like masculine, feminine, completely different. Okay, that's so interesting. All right, underneath the deck, we have pink halite, self-love, replenish, replenish and cherish, ruling Cancer, Pisces and the Earth. So you guys are really allowing yourself to not judge yourself, um, not judge others, and also just to be in your truth without having to understand what everybody else you know knows so i'm also going to get you guys a animal card and we're going to see where you guys are at the moment and let's get some advice for you and i'm going to read from the animal spirit deck book as well oops do we want the unicorn the unicorn popped out don't know if we want her today so we'll see if she wants to pop out again oops okay it's zebra zebra is very similar to the uh, unicorn I feel it's more like an earthy actually zebra is, I guess in, in this case it's more like an earthy unicorn which I love so that's really cool and then we have the butterfly beautiful massive amount of transformation for you guys you guys are really settling into this new path that you're going on I just feel like I'm hearing the word fascination like you're fascinated by something new um, this feels very fascinating and then we also have um, you have the deer popping out as well. We had the eagle as well. So a lot of a lot of new energies are coming in, like you're stepping into a new version of yourself. So you're going to feel a little bit uncomfortable. It's not going to feel fully settled, but you are getting there. Okay, so let's see about this red jasper. Let's see what she says. Okay, so this is justice, strength, and stability. Red jasper works closely with the base chakra and heals any wounds surrounded in injustice, grounding you back to the earth. Red Jasper alleviates chronic worry, clearing mental blockages to make space for balanced emotions and thoughts. Working with the base chakra, Red Jasper can also help heal issues related to sex, inviting you to explore your sexuality in healthy ways. Providing stability and protection, Red Jasper balances yin and yang, perfect, expressing masculine and feminine energies that feel safe yet nourish. Aries, Scorpio, Mars. Oh, that's so perfect. I feel like that's so accurate. So this is also really interesting. I feel like the breakthrough is you um, breaking out of boundaries around yourself, like fully allowing yourself to be this sexual being um, and not limiting yourself to, okay, I have to act this certain way, have to be this, have, and, and judging yourself. It feels almost like for a lot of you guys, maybe you're in religious families of extremely religious um, and they kind of taught you that maybe sex was a bad thing or anything like that I mean I'm this is just my opinion guys if you ever think that it's a bad thing that's totally up to you but for me I feel like it's best to express your sexuality in the most healthy way whether you're a man or a female or you are whatever gender you um, associate with so blue lace agate this is perfect this is about you speaking your truth I always wear blue lace agate as you can see I'm wearing it today I always wear it it's a really beautiful energy Blue Lace Agate is all about supportive energy. It's your throat chakra. I always wear Blue Lace Agate with um, clear quartz because it's just such a lovely balance. It's not too much where sometimes Blue Lace Agate can feel a bit, almost a bit too clear where you just like blur out stuff almost like when people are drunk. Um, so I have the clear quartz on there as well to kind of balance those out. So Blue Lace Agate, let's have a look and see what she says. So I'm just gonna skim over this. If you guys wanna read this, feel free. Hopefully that's coming out in the camera. But it's basically saying uh, it's a supportive nudge in the right direction, whispering words of encouragement when you experience self-doubt. It's all about self-expression. Um, your feelings are valid and important. Don't worry about what others think. Release all fear of judgment and get ready to leave any thoughts of inadequacy behind. Blue Lace Agate encourages you to start anew because every day is a fresh beginning. Gemini, Pisces, Mercury. Peace, 
gentle new beginnings. So this is really interesting because we have justice, strength and stability and then we have peace, gentle and new beginnings. So what you're basically going into is a brand new beginning but you have to be open to that new start. And the zebra is saying to trust your intuition and trust your thoughts and know that you have that the more balanced you can be within yourself the more easier this is going to be for you. Um, let's have a look at the zebra. We're just going to have a look in the in the book here. And we're going to see what the zebra represents. So the zebra here is actually representing air. So air, I see it as a spiritual energy. It's something that we can't physically hold. So the zebra here is saying about intuition. It's all about creativity, eccentricity and visionary. So it says zebra, zebras are the most precious of gems. They are young at heart, well cultured and an undying curiosity about life. Being in the company of a zebra personality not only is a delight but also opens our mind. Be prepared, their potent magic is contagious. You may soon find yourself <clears throat> excuse me, in a faraway land, expanding your worldwide view, having a blast. Zebras also like to contribute to global health, okay, <laughs> through environment or volunteer work. This card may be a hint to pack your bag. So obviously we can't travel at the moment, but I see this as you maybe planning things for the future. When in balance, worldly, enthusiastic, fashion forward. When out of balance, a jaded, pouty, vain. To bring into balance an epic adventure in art. So it's basically expanding your knowledge of what you believe is true. Like kind of doing things that really fascinate you and not, not limiting yourself to thinking one thing. Um, and also just distraction. That's also really important. If you're starting to overthink, distraction can actually be a really good thing. Um, but making sure that you're not overdoing it on social media and things because there's a lot of manipulation, guys, going on, on social media and stuff. So just be careful what you're following, what you're watching. So thank you so much for watching, guys. If you would like a private reading, all that information is down below. If you would like to check out my crystal store, I'd really love that and I'd really appreciate that. So thank you so much if you do. Just thank you for being here. I appreciate you and your time and I hope you have a lovely day and I'll speak to you very soon. Much love. Bye. Hello group number two. Thank you so much for being here. Let's get started with your reading. So you guys chose the beautiful rose quartz. This is a rough rose quartz so it's in its most natural form apart from being in the ground. Beautiful. I sell these on my shop. I absolutely love rough rose quartz. It's one of my absolute favourites. It's such a gentle energy. Very very gentle. Okay let's put her there. So let's see what's going on for you guys. What's coming towards you and what you need to know. All those things. So what does group number two need to know? Thank you. Queen of Swords. So this is a completely different energy to group number one. Actually, I guess it's quite similar. They had the Two of Swords, but it feels much more like individual energy than rather than collective. Okay. Oof, you guys are going through it, girl. Damn. Okay. Oof, yes. Freedom. Yes, I love that. Perfect. I'm hearing in about five days, um, you're gonna feel much more free. So this is a timeless reading, so just take it as it resonates, but it feels like in about five days, things are gonna feel much more calmer. Maybe not around the world, but personally, <laughs> they're gonna feel much more free. Okay, beautiful. Let's get, let's get one more card. Okay, I really want this one. Lovely, judgment. Justice and judgment, that, that's, that is full on. Okay, and then let's see what's the breakthrough here. What's the world, what's the world breakthrough? Whoops, I dropped it. Let me just grab it. Okay, got two. So underneath the deck we have the four of, oh, four of wands. I heard it, I saw it was four of worlds. <laughs> four of wands. So this is about celebration. I'm really jealous they're at a festival. Um, <laughs> But I do see that there's massive kind of like freedom. There's massive freedom coming and it may not feel like it right now, but there is massive freedom coming. So overall, the energies are the Ace of Swords and the Knight of Swords. This is feeling like in your head a lot, feeling like you're kind of running away from your thoughts or your thoughts are running away from you. It can also feel like you're actually trying to um, not so much control your thoughts, but you're being more aware of what you're thinking about. So I see this as more being about what you're doing with meditation or uh, just being conscious of, what what energy you're kind of entertaining so we'll have a look at those in just a second my throat <coughs> keeps like i keep coughing really badly so you guys are really working on your throat chakra sorry about the lighting guys i'm sorry if it keeps going up and down but i can't seem to get the lighting right at the moment so okay first of all queen of swords seven of swords three of swords lots of swords 
the world, justice and judgment. So justice is 11, the world is 21 and judgment is 20. So with the queen of swords and the seven of swords, this feels very, very stressful. This feels like lots of things coming out from under the surface, okay? I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. This isn't the most comfortable energy, but it doesn't, it doesn't mean you're not gonna get, get out of it. This is just kind of what you're feeling right now. The Queen of Swords, she seems to be kind of observing the Seven of Swords and the Three of Swords. So some of you guys might just be observing your thoughts and feeling like pretty good about it. Some of the time, some of you guys are feeling like things are basically being teared away from you in, in the best way. Like things that are no longer serving you are just like, bye bitch, like no, we don't need her anymore. So the Three of Swords is kind of like you're being ripped from the ground. And I'm seeing like grass being ripped up from the floor. So you think that grass is like settled there, maybe it's grown there, but actually sometimes people like plant grass, you know, when they have those rolls of grass and they literally roll them out onto the, the ground. So they've been put there purposely. So what's happening is all that old grass needs to be ripped up and things are coming up from under the surface, which aren't so pretty and really uncomfortable. But this is just the removing process. This doesn't mean it's going to be permanent. This is just removing. It's not, this isn't actually permanent. So you may feel as if this it does feel permanent. This does feel uncomfortable. This does feel like, holy shit, I don't know what I'm doing. Some of you guys might even have like a sword tattoo because with this card, I don't know if you guys can see, but she has like a, like a sword tattoo here might be something to do with that. Um, I just feel like you're releasing something. I'm actually seeing the Ace of Cups for you guys. So you may feel like really overly emotional, very um, waterworks, like, cr like crying a lot. Um, this is completely normal. A lot of the energies are very intense right now. We do feel like we're being pulled up from the ground. This is all good stuff, okay? Because when we have the world, so this may be actually contributing with the external energy right now. It could actually be to do with the world, like the earth plane and what's going on around the world um, on a worldwide scale. I want you guys to know that you are safe. Um, the universe loves you and your higher self loves you. If you're really not connected to yourself right now, uh, I love you, the universe loves you and we're all rooting for you, okay? So if you're feeling really uncomfortable and just like very at, at a loss, Remember this energy is shifting, it is shifting and you're not gonna be there all the time, you're not gonna be there forever, okay? Because we actually have this tree here as well, roots are being really planted into the ground. So when a tree is obviously first planted, it's very new, it has to have those little like cylinders to like hold it up because it's, it's, it's a baby, it's a little baby. And it's kind of like when you support a baby's head, you have to support it for a while. That's what you're doing with your energy. You're kind of supporting yourself while you get through this. Kind of like also if you break your leg, you have crutches, that crutch is a support do anything you can to support yourself. And even if you do go back into old habits, there is nothing wrong with that, okay? You are not broken, there is nothing wrong with you. You just need to revisit it to clear it or to work through it or to understand it better. Sometimes we need to not kind of like hate ourselves for going back into our old patterns because at the end of the day, it's helping us to understand it more and understanding is a beautiful thing, okay? So we have the world, the justice and judgment. This is beautiful. Massive amount of clarity, feeling free and understand that you don't have to have anything to be free, okay? Freedom comes from within, it comes from how you feel about yourself and it's also how you are looking at things. So I feel like you're seeing things eyes wide open. I really do feel that. So because also after with the justice and the judgment, I see this just being patient with yourself and realizing that you need to fill both cups up. This is the emotional, this is the physical, this is the mental, all of the cups. This will come with patience. I feel like about roughly about two weeks to two months after watching this, this is where you're gonna be, okay? So obviously it depends on when you watch this. For those of you who are watching this really soon to me uploading, two months. Uh, for those of you who are now watching this a little bit later on, I'll probably say about two weeks. So judgment, this is all about you seeing yourself waking up, seeing yourself feeling more enlightened. Enlightenment doesn't come over overnight unless you know that's your awakening process. For a lot of you guys, I see that you're seeing yourself and dreaming about this new you. And this can be very com complicated because sometimes we think we have an idea of where we're gonna be and who we are, but this is like, holy shit, this is the new me. Oh my God, I didn't realize how powerful I was. And I feel like, I feel very emotional. I feel like I need to cry. Like this feels like, oh, I didn't realize how much power I actually did have over this situation or over myself. And oh, it feels like a lot, girl. But you, look at this, just ultimate like freedom of the mind and not running away 
to things. I do feel like somebody's going to come back from the past. If 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 you want to take them back, I see you doing that. I don't see there's anything wrong with that if that's something you want to do. But if you're really not feeling it, you don't have to do that. But I do see that you are going to get stability and things that you want, you feel like maybe running away from you. Um, but at the end of the day, it might just be that the path to get there may be a little bit longer than what you think. But it doesn't mean it's not going to come, okay? Look out for dark... Uh, not dark, <laughs> look out for blackbirds. Uh, there's one there and there's one there. There's quite a few in this deck, mainly here as well. So a lot of swords. So this crow is obviously to do with swords. It could be a raven as well. Um, but looking out for those, not to overthink as well. There was a technique that I heard. I think his name's Sad Simone. He's like, a, he's an amazing TikToker. He's so funny. I love him. He um, wrote Spiritually Sassy, I'm pretty sure the book is called. And he says to do a meditation technique where basically you say to yourself, what's my next thought going to be? And it basically just calms your mind down. It's so helpful. Like it's really helpful for me. So hopefully that will help you guys as well. So I actually feel the need to, I feel the need to pull you a uh, chakra card. So I'm going to do that. We're going to see what chakra you guys are working on. And then we're going to pull you a crystal card as well. I feel the number five is coming through really strongly. Like the need for change. The need for... Magical change, personal power, perfect. Okay, underneath the deck we have patience, <laughs> having patience with yourself. Base chakra is all about safety. So if you guys feel the need to like rush, rush things, it may be because you are feeling unsafe. So just allow yourself to be in that energy as much as, as much as you can. Okay, you're doing the best that you can, and that is enough. Okay, so we have I choose to be myself and to express my truth I have a positive influence on people and the situations around me I follow my integrity and confidence to shine which instills more confidence and belief in myself and then encourages others to have a natural confidence in me I do not allow my personal power to become egotistical manipulative or exploitive lovely so we're going to keep her there. If you guys want to have a little read of that, have a little pause of the video, then please feel free to do so. So I'm going to pull you a crystal card and then we're going to pull an animal spirit card. So let's see what's group number two going through right now. What do they need to know? Wow, that was quick. Okay, Amatrine, lovely. Energetic, intuitive and connected. Do we need another card? They're saying nope. They're saying look underneath the deck. Okay. All right, so we have Bixbite. Timing. <laughs> timing action and change I love the yellow and the pink together that's a really lovely combination so timing is everything oh I really want to read this to you guys timing is everything and with Big Spy that couldn't be truer so this is what Big Spy looks like beautiful lovely we also have cleanse underneath with calcite so you need to cleanse your pineal gland or your just your energy okay Big Spire has an impeccable knack for the right timing and can encourage you to try new things, pursue an opportunity or change anything that needs an update. Big Spire opens a connection between your base chakras and your heart chakra and, it, and infuses you with unconditional love for yourself and others. Big Spire encourages energy expressed as action, movement and progression to move forward towards true enlightenment between you and your soul. Update what's outdated with joy and recharge your life. Aries, Taurus, Moon. Lovely. So... Taurus is a really, really patient sign. Um, Aries, not so much. It depends on the person. So I feel like for you guys, it's actually tuning into your patience and realizing, girl, you only have so much control, okay? To work on how much control you have on your side, okay? Because when we feel like a control, it can feel really overwhelming. And then that's when we get anxious. So Amatrine, energetic, intuitive, and connected. A combination of amethyst and citrine, Amatrine opens the pathways between the physical realm and the spiritual realm. With a sunny disposition, this stone can alleviate stress during challenging life transitions. Beautiful. With the ability to go beyond the surface, Amatrine brings the shadowy parts of us to light, healing deep wounds and trauma by confronting them directly. Amatrine encourages you to hop in the driver's seat and take control of your life. Aiding in discernment and clarity, Amatrine gives you the confidence to take the lead. Libra, Jupiter, Nep sorry, Libra, Jupiter, Neptune, Pluto. This is actually really good for OCD, um, anxiety. It's actually really good for ADHD and things like that. Really deep rooted um, mental, <clears throat> mental health states. So Amatrine is energetic, intuitive and connected. And Amatrine is amethyst and citrine. So amethyst is obviously a very intuitive crystal. I have this one from, from group number one. Amethyst is very, very spiritual. It's very high vibe. It's a good all round crystal. Citrine um, installs like happiness and success and feeling much more confident and bold. Citrine is also really good for money. It's really good for helping you balance out your bank account. 
um, and also just allowing you to look forward to the future. So I do feel like that's a really, really good combination. Highly, highly recommend Amaterine. And if you guys want any um, kind of custom pieces, I do custom jewelry on my Etsy shop if you guys wanna get any crystals I mention in a custom piece, okay? So let's see. <laughs> Beautiful. So this is actually in the reverse, which is quite nice. I feel like you guys are really allowing yourself to be aware of your patterning and not stinging yourself like self-sabotage. Let's pull out one more. Beautiful, oh, I love this. The fox is one of my favorites. So the fox is actually about long-term relationships. So when you, it's, I'm hearing when you stop stinging yourself, you're gonna manifest a new relationship or a new friendship or a new some sort of new connection that's on your wavelength. So something you've been wanting. So it doesn't actually have to be a relationship. It could be, but if that's not something you're wanting, then I do feel like it's, it is a relationship of some kind that you want. Obviously everything is a relationship. Uh, our parents, it could be our relationship, uh, like having a nicer relationship with our parents, having a nicer relationship with our partner, uh, our friends, they're all a type of partnership and relationship. We always have a line underneath being brave and uh, stepping into your power and being seen, like just allowing yourself to be seen and knowing that when you are seen, you have so much power over that. So let's have a look at the Scorpion. Obviously some of you guys may be Scorpios. I always, I always see the Scorpion as a Scorpio. Um, me being the Scorpio as well <laughs> is probably why. Um, Scorpio is also suit with fire and the fox is suit with earth. So you guys are very passionate. You have something you really want to accomplish, but you're really kind of feeling like you're at, at, at odds. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <clears throat> so passionate, competitive, tends towards isolation. The scorpion is a passionate and determined creature. This career is very important to them as a few select friends. Sometimes the scorpion's heat festers and they focus on an unresolved event from the past, usually a situation where they were left feeling burdened. The scorpion card says it's time to come clean about your feelings so everyone can heal and you can get back to your usual fiery but fun self. When in balance, wild and free, fierce. When out of balance, jealous, resentful, unresolved. To bring into balance honesty and forgiveness. Holy crap, that is so deep. Oh my God, I love that. I love that so much. That is so lovely. I feel like there's definitely some really deep stuff going on for you guys. And that's a lot for a lot of people right now, okay? So just recognizing that if you need some space, that's not selfish. That's actually self, you know, you're doing this for yourself. That's self-love. So the fox, smart, strong partner or mate, wise teacher. So I'm not gonna re read this whole thing, guys, but it basically is saying that foxes are ideal life partners as they commit to relationships for the long term and their natural charisma keeps things exciting. When in balance, magical, ingenious teacher, monogamous. When out of balance, sneaky, unsure of their identity. To bring into balance partnership and connection. So this is what you're gonna get. When you stop stinging yourself or when you allow yourself to just open these emotions up, forgive yourself, forgive others, and forgiveness comes with time, so there's no forcing here, guys. You've got to do this naturally. It's, it's got to come naturally, you know. It could be a Scorpio and um, a Taurus relationship or, or, yeah, Taurus. They're saying just Taurus. Could be Leo or Virgo, but I'm seeing that as quite a strong relationship happening, so that could be one of you guys that that relates to. So let's get you some dice. Let's see what's going on for number two. I like the number two here as well that you guys chose. So I feel like that's obviously to do with relationships as well. It's partnerships, it's duality, it's yin yang, balance, all that kind of stuff. So I'm sorry if you guys can see a fly. That's Bob, he loves to chill out. Trust me guys, I have my windows open. I don't know where these flies come from. I have no plants in my room anymore. It's, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so we have Mercury, fourth house, Taurus. Oh, I didn't mean to say Taurus, I meant Aries. So. It's really interesting because Taurus and Aries are literally next to each other on the zodiac wheel. So it may be that you are connecting with a Taurus. It could be, I feel like you're having a much more better um, communication with an Aries in your life or can, oh, a stronger connection with somebody in your home. Um, feeling like you may want to start a business from home. Um, this could also represent a need to speak up and feel safe. Um, if you feel like you have to stop yourself from talking to feel safe, then there may be something there that needs to be resolved. Doesn't have to do anything about it right now. There's no hurry. You have all the time in the world, but I do feel like it's important for you to express important opinions if there's something you need to say. I do feel like it's something you may want to say on social media, especially if it's about worldviews. Don't feel afraid of having backlash. If there's backlash, that says more about them than about you. And obviously if you're being nasty, then that's something different. But if you're genuinely just expressing your views and you want to, you want people to listen, 
then I do feel like that's something really important for you to do. And also I'm hearing peacemaker. So I feel like you guys are peacemakers. I don't feel like you do anything to be nasty. Um, but I do feel like also, if you guys want to try doing poems, I see something like that happening, um, or being a songwriter, like expressing your words through some sort of media. So it could be social media, it could be like music, it could be, I'm hearing like synth nodes. So kind of like, um, like DJs have like, you know, the, um, I don't know what it's called. You guys who are musicians will know what I'm talking about. Basically when you make music, uh, on the computer and you have all the different lines of all the different things like the bass the drum all that sort of thing i see you guys mixing tunes maybe collaborating with somebody um uh, yes yeah, so i feel that very strongly i'm seeing like a lion as well we did have the lion earlier so it feels like kind of feeling brave to step out of your comfort zone and do something you've never done before i see that you guys need to try something new and obviously i know it's hard right now but there really is lots of things you can do from home and even if you're out walking there's loads of different things you can do you know, you can even dance in the frigging street. If no one's there, frigging go for it, girl. Like, I feel like you're expressing yourself more openly now and allowing yourself to not, not apologize for taking up space. I feel like that's really, really important. And there's a quote that I saw one time and it was like, um, I don't want to apologize for having an opinion or something like that. It was a really good quote. I literally, I'm not like making it sound good, but it was a very good quote. Um, something like last time I checked, it wasn't anyone's, like, it wasn't, I'm not here to please anyone. Something like that is a really fucking good quote. So thank you for watching, guys. If you'd like a private reading with me, all my information is down below. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you and your time. If you'd like to check out my crystal store, all that information is down below. I hope you have a lovely day and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, group number three. Thank you so much for being here. Let's get started with your reading. So you guys chose the beautiful Pophilite. I'm obsessed with Popolite. It's one of my absolute favorite crystals. I mean, I say it's every time, you know, you guys know this, but I love Popolite. I just want to give you a little close up because she is stunning. She's like clear quartz, but with like a really extreme high vibration, kind of more high vibing, I feel, than clear quartz. She's kind of got her own little, her own little vibe. Clear quartz kind of attaches itself to any other uh, kind of vibration of a crystal. This one, she kind of has her own thing. She's kind of like an Aquarius. She's independent, girl. <laughs> okay. So let's see what you guys need to know. Uh, what does the universe want you to know and things like that. So let's see what's coming up for group number three. So this is the, oh, okay. So we have six of swords. Beautiful. This is one of my favorite tarot. I love this tarot deck. have the seven of wands king of swords the hermit I feel like you guys have more of an organized message a lot I feel like the other two groups were more about the mental I feel like this is more about the physical and actually kind of feeling more clear about your path and kind of seeing things um, like being more relaxed. I feel like you guys are in a more relaxed state or this will help you find a more relaxed state. I'm not sure if she's in reverse or upright. No, she's in the reverse, doesn't feel right in the upright. Okay, let's get one more card. The overall energy, please. Beautiful. I love this, the Empress. So obviously she's in her power. I feel like you guys are focusing on your self-love, loving yourself, Venus. We have the Queen of Wands as well. She is very much like the Empress, but she's more grounded. Okay, so. <clears throat> okay, so we have the Empress as the main energy. This is all about you being in your power, but also doing things that find that you find joy out of. So the Six of Swords here is you kind of being aware of something you need to pull away from. And we have the seven of wands as well. I'm gonna get I'm gonna show you guys because sometimes you can't see because of the light. So with the these two cards, this is kind of like finding your peace within the madness, within the confusion. Six of swords is you moving away from something that no longer serves you, and the seven of wands is you kind of fighting away people. It's interesting because I can't actually see in this card that there's people in there, but there's just sticks. So it feels like you may be putting up barriers where there aren't barriers, or you may feel overwhelmed by something that you feel like you have no control over, but you actually do. It may be that you feel like you don't, but you actually do. Um, so the King of Swords and the Hermit, which is a really lovely energy. I'm getting really strong, nice vibes from this. Um, the King of Swords feels like you may have um, an identity around masculines. 
Um, you may have like a certain way you assert yourself with masculines and you could be a feminine or a masculine but I feel like those of you who resonate more with feminine energy and you when and when you relate to masculines it could be that you kind of like hide yourself and you don't want to be seen so I feel like you're working on being seen around masculine and men you don't even have to be attracted to them it's just the relationship you have with them and how um how strong how strong your relationship is with them and how healthy it is I do see that you'll maybe need to come away from a relationship with an air sign that may be a little bit stubborn. You may have to kind of just be in your own space right now and just be yourself. With this hermit card, this is all about you just being in your own energy and waiting things out. The, her the hangman is really lovely in the reverse because it basically means that you're not no longer waiting. Right now, you'll need to wait through this process of the darkness because you're just confused. You you may be confused, you just don't know where you're going. And the King of Swords may also be somebody who is enlightening you, who's helping you. It could be a therapist. It could be um, a male um, hearing confidant. <laughs> so I don't feel like it's a partner. It could be, but I feel like it's somebody you don't have like a sexual attraction to. Um, a friend, a even like a family member, somebody who you just, just you really resonate with. Um, I just feel like it's somebody who you may not have that strong of a connection with in terms of like love it may be more of like a, as I say, a confidant <laughs> like a co co-worker or something they give you a lot of practical advice like they're not somebody who gets emotional with you they'll give you more practical advice but it feels comforting it feels almost like a therapist um it could even be a therapist so the hermit is also saying that you're going to come out of the darkness you have to go through this darkness to get to the other side and this person does seem to be the one who's going to help you clear your thoughts it could be an aquarius a gemini or libra male who's going to help you with this the Seven of Wands and the Six of Swords is also you kind of backing away from these negative thoughts because this person's almost like a light. Um, it could be this re represents you as well. You could be that air sign or that masculine air sign who helps to kind of your thoughts switch. And I do feel like you're being, this person's, as I say, more practical about their thoughts. So they can see you and what's kind of what, what's going on. They kind of unravel your thoughts for you and help you to see things clearer. I love this energy. This feels like newness. This feels kind of weird because they're both in the reverse, but they're actually better off in the reverse, I feel, which is quite interesting. So it's kind of like the upside down in Stranger Things or what's going on around the world. It may seem really weird and like unknown and kind of scary and like, okay, this is weird. But when you actually see what's going on afterwards or underneath the surface, it's like, holy shit, this is actually changing a lot of the world and we're actually coming into a brand new way of being. But we don't know what that is. So we can we don't actually have anything else to relate it to the past. And as humans, we always relate things back to the past for safety. So newness can actually be really freaking scary. Even though we want it, it can be super, super scary. But when we come out of this darkness, you have this little light here representing as the star and the star is, you know, Aquarius. So the Aquarian age is leading us to a place where we can feel much more free and we're no longer hanging in the upside down in the unknown. I mean, he's no longer upside down, he's upright, but the card is upside down. So as I say, it may be that you need to go upside down or feel upside down for a little bit to get to the upright position. And this is actually really nice because underneath you've got the Empress. So you're going to feel much more comfortable. Actually, is that underneath? Let's see what card is underneath the deck. Oh, we have the Queen of Wands. I was right. Yeah. So you're kind of feeling much more in your power after you've gone through this process. And you may be at different stages. Some of you guys may be feeling like the Hermit, where you're feeling like you need to be by yourself. Maybe you're going really deep. Maybe you're kind of feeling like there's a lot of conflict, something like that. But I see at the end of this, um, your possible abandonment issues or anything to do with lack is gone. Like, I feel like you're feeling much more confident about it. And you're like, you know what? I'm going to fucking own that I felt lack. I'm going to own that I felt uncomfortable and I'm going to forgive myself. I love myself. Some of it was out of my control and I'm proud to say that I got through it and I'm freaking amazing. And I do not have to have anyone tell me that I'm amazing to know that I'm amazing. And I do feel like you are really feeling like on your own right now, guys. I'm sorry if you are feeling like that. You really aren't alone. And I know that you do feel like that sometimes, but really you aren't alone. Um, even if you can't find that one person to talk to, there is always going to be somebody who will help you or spirit guides or something like that. And if you do need to talk to a therapist, I highly recommend it. I'm not a health practitioner, but if you really need somebody to talk to, there is numbers that you can call if you do feel kind of at, at, at loss, okay? Um, and also, if you ever need some sort of guidance, obviously I do private readings as well. So if that's something you're drawn to, I'm going to recommend that. But obviously, please get professional help if you need it. Um, okay, so let's get you some cards. So let's see um, what crystal card you guys need. I just feel that you guys need to listen to some lovely music. I feel like that will really help calm your mind. 
Um, I feel like like music that's really comforting to you, whether it's your favourite artist, whether it's a podcast, a book, just something to distract yourself. I feel like you need it. This one? Yeah. So we have Cooprite, Generosity, Security. Yes, 100% and Flow. Sorry if you guys saw that little fly. That was Bob. <laughs> or it was a spirit guide, I don't know. <laughs> or both. He might, be, he might be a spirit guide. Do you want one more? They're saying yes, let's get one more. Okay. Oh, lovely. Look at those beautiful root and sacral chakra. It could be solar as well. You could be getting drawn to color orange and the color, color red right now. Okay, underneath the deck, we have Lazulite, Cosmic Serenity and Peace. This is basically saying that it's going to help you to uh, alleviate worry, anxiety and stress and to help strengthen any addictive habits and personal demons. Gemini, Sagittarius and Jupiter. This is Lazulite, beautiful. And then we have Sunstone, Leadership, Confidence and Freedom. That's basically um, the King of Swords and the Queen of Wands put together. So these are the energies that you're working with right now. If you don't want to listen to me read them, then you guys can pause the video and have a little read yourself. Or I'll just kind of skim over this one, but I'll read this one. So the main energy is Cooprite. Really beautiful. I love the red against the black. Very sexy. Okay, so... Generosity, security, and flow. As a humanitarian at heart, Cooprite encourages the practice of helping others without expectations. It assists, it, I'm hearing, okay, I just heard, oh. I feel like you're gonna have some sort of like awakening moment. You're like, oh, I get it. It's really, it's like a, a really nice energy. It feels very clear. It's like your mind just suddenly opened. You're like, oh, I get it. This could be about anything. It assists in facing issues with authority figures, especially your father. Oh, interesting. In order to become the authority figure in your own life, Cooprite helps release any blame and resistance that may be blocking you from taking responsibility for the decisions you make. Activating the survival gene, Cooprite attracts what we need to make it through challenging moments, increasing our life force and overall vitality. Take the driver's seat, you're ready, Aquarius, Venus. Wow, yeah, I did say this was ruling Aquarius, so that's... <gasps> wow, and we're going to the Aquarian age. Holy shit, okay. Right, Carnelian. I might actually read this because I feel like that red one was very accurate for you guys. Courage, motivation, and endurance. Powerful and bold, Carney. Okay, I just hear that some of you guys are going to get help from somebody, so just look out for that. Really just a lovely person, very authentic. Um, also, I see you guys might be having fires, like a fire night or like a barbecue, just something outside. I feel like you guys need to be outside more. Um, in the in the dark, in the dark, like at night time. Carnelian increases confidence in yourself, especially when you need to take centre stage and use your voice effectively. I actually do have a um, confidence and success crystal kit. If you guys want to check that out on my shop, Carnelian is in that. They're all um, used by me. I have used them in my personal life and they're all kind of like tested, you know. Okay, so a stabilising stone, Carnelian helps balance volatile emotions for long-term vitality. Um, did I read that last part? I'm going to read that again, especially when you need to take centre stage and use your voice effectively. Believed to protect the soul in the afterlife, Carnelian is a stone of the living, meant to motivate you to take chances with the life that you have. Life is meant to be lived with passion and desire, and Carnelian gives you the courage to do so. Carpe diem, seize the day. Rules Taurus, Cancer, Rules Taurus, Cancer, Leo, Scorpio, Sun. Beautiful. So we had Aquarius, Venus, so you're working on your relationship with the males working on relationship with masculines as I mentioned previously so I love that I love that <laughs> I love that synchronicity that was really beautiful and then the carnelian is allowing you to express your so your sacral chakra your sexuality your your boldness your confidence and knowing that you don't have to have approval from anybody to do things you have your you have your own body you have your own mind you get to decide whatever you do it doesn't matter what anybody else thinks especially as empaths we actually forget we have our own minds sometimes not because we're being selfish it's, it's more about because we care about other people and we get lost in that so it's really important to recognize you actually have your own mind you can do whatever you want essentially you could do some really bad stuff or some really good stuff you have that choice remember you do have that choice guys okay perfect i mean i don't really have to explain it but transformation um this is you okay you guys are having a massive identity realization some of you guys might be gemini I feel like some of you guys, as Geminis, um, a lot of you guys do struggle with identity crises. When a Gemini finally finds itself, holy crap. <laughs> Literally, angels descend, 
Jesus rises, God is like, oh, hallelujah, you know? So I feel like some of you guys are actually really, really finding yourself, like not even just finding yourself like, oh, you know what, I feel confident today. Like you will find yourself, like you genuinely find that is who I am. Like I'm no longer any of these stresses. I'm no longer in this, like I have to be this person. I have to act this way. I have to do this out of safety. No, you are just being your whole freaking self without any of that trauma that you went through because that was for survival. You had to do so many things for survival, girl, and you are no longer doing that anymore. Holy crap, I love this. I love this. I love the orange and the blue. It's like your throat chakra and your sacral. Just like, girl, she's like on fire. You may be getting drawn to fire signs as well. Okay, they're like, oh, I don't know if I should come out. There we go. <laughs> pretty much the same energy this is what I'm saying like the darkness and um, moths obviously a nighttime creature I feel like you're going to get so much peace out of being in the dark so if you guys are actually scared of the dark I actually recommend just testing out just like putting on a little night light doing a little meditation you know maybe not completely submerging yourself in the dark but especially if you guys are water signs I feel like you guys are, are quite happy being in the dark obviously depending on what age you are and things like that I want to pull you one more what's after this what's after this transformation Beautiful. Let's get one more, just to clarify. Coming out of this darkness. There we go, fire energy, perfect. So more movement, feeling much more stable, able to, stable and able. Stable and able, that's what I'm hearing, which is a lovely thing, okay. So releasing yourself from the darkness, feeling much more free, able to do things physically. So this may be when you come, we come out of lockdown or you know, feeling much more free. This may be um, a external like world, Thing as well um, the oyster is all about you feeling safe within yourself and safe within the darkness and the confusion cheaters with fire signs fire signs are normally a very confident um, sign obviously depending on what sign it is and who you are but they are normally generally quite confident so we have earth earth and we have cheetah actually I think this might be water um, but this is all kind of elements okay obviously not including air I feel as if for you guys, you are coming into a massive confidence boost. You are seeing yourself much more clearer. I just see that I just, like in my heart space, it feels like clear. It feels like I can breathe. It feels like I can feel my, my energy. I can, I can, I feel more myself. I feel like my aura is cleared. Like it feels like that. Right now, you don't feel like that. This is, this is in the transition phase. Transitioning movement okay that's what i'm seeing for you guys really beautiful energies guys i love this really beautiful okay let's get you some dice okay aquarius of course we have aquarius and mars that makes so much sense so aquarius is obviously a very important sign for you guys so if you guys are on aquarius obviously taste as it resonates but i love the independence energy that we have here and independence doesn't mean being on your own there is like the energy of interdependency where you can be by yourself but also be around people this mars energy is so good like i love it it's just a really strong powerful energy of like i know myself and i'm going to do the damn thing i'm going to do something that makes me feel uncomfortable because i know it will expand my views it just it feels like safety it feels like i know myself now and i feel like for those especially who are attracted to masculine and men i do see like you guys are healing that relationship with your father you could be a masculine as well the relationship with a father but i feel like it's more to do with because you are in relationships with men your relationship with your dad is probably the most important thing and if you have had a jarring relationship you are healing that and you are speaking your truth within your independence and and working on putting yourself out there in a, in a sense where you are being seen, being heard, and you are putting your boundaries down and you're not allowing people to take from you. You are wanting an authentic connection that is 50-50 and I'm hearing 3D. So coming out of the 3D energy and really just allowing yourself to be ripping away that Capricorn nastiness. That obviously, I'm not saying Capricorns are nasty. I mean, the Capricorn age that is nasty um, in a sense of manipulation, control, shadow, intensity, um, kind of stubbornness and releasing that. That is the old masculine Capricorn way that we are releasing now, okay? And you're coming out of that and shining your light because you are beautiful and you are sensitive. And if you are feeling confused, girl, 
you know you're not alone lots of people are and you are going to get out of this you are going to feel much more confident and you're going to feel i feel this feels very internal this feels very internal this was very external so finally you feel more free it's kind of like if you have ever, ever if you any of you guys have ever gone through depression or you're going through depression now you know that you can get out of it you know it's going to end you know you're going to feel much more free but right now you're feeling a little bit isolated that's okay guys you are going to get through it you are going to be on the other side and you are going to meet people who are on your wavelength just right now you have to get through this uncomfortable like pulling away because this is no longer who you are you are not your you are not your trauma you are not what's happened to you you are you and you have gone through so much and you have survived everything you've gone through you're here now watching this video you are a fucking miracle okay you are born on this planet for a definite reason and you are here with for the Aquarian age to witness this massive change it's making me emotional so I'm gonna go <laughs> so thank you so much for watching guys if you'd like a private reading or you want to check out my crystal shop all the information is down below thank you so so much for being here you guys are amazing you make my life you know, just I, I really appreciate you so I really hope you are enjoying these videos and I hope you have a lovely day I'll speak to you very very soon much love namaste bye